videotaping you working. I'm not doing anything. Today we're working on the CRF450 frame here, which we're converting into the CR500 AF conversion. Okay, we're pulling everything out that, uh, anything attached to the frame, because we got to do is we got to do some cutting. We're going to have to cut out the Y portion here, cut it right there, cut a section of this out, and slide this whole thing up. We're also going to need to cut it down here, and this is going to be raised up and extended. So the whole Y will effectively be moved up. That will give us room to mount the motor, and the exhaust pipe will go through the front. So once we get that cut out, we're going to drop the CR500 motor in there and see how it fits. But meanwhile, we're going to try to get this thing disassembled and pull the frame out separate from everything else so that way I can take it over to my welder. Today helping us is Angela. Hi. Hello Angela. It's the first time we had a lady here in the shop helping us out. Do something. Yay! Cool. But anytime there's titties and beer in the garage, you know it's a good time. <laughs> we'll break out the beer in a few. Whee! So what you taking off? Fork? That's right. Those are the forks. Okay. Alright, Angela, show me what we're doing to the CRF 450 frame. Okay. We're going to cut it right here. Right. At the Y. Yeah. We're going to cut it up here. Mm, we're going to probably cut it up there a little bit, too. We're going to cut it at the weld. At the weld. At the weld. And then we're going to move and the whole thing And then we're going to slide up. the whole thing up right up to there. And we're going to add extensions down in here. So that way the whole Y will be raised up to allow us to put the CR500 motor in. And do you remember why? No, you don't. <laughs> but we need to raise it up because the exhaust pipe comes through. Right now the exhaust pipe is going to try to come through here and it can't because this is obstructing it. Oh. So if you raise the Y up, the exhaust pipe can exit through the frame, similar to how the old CR500 frames did in the past. In fact, the CR250s are still the same. Well, up until they stop making them. But yeah, so the exhaust pipe is going to exit out the middle. So we're going to do that next. We're going to try to cut the sucker out, and we're going to try to move this thing down. I've got a, an angle grinder here that should do the job pretty good. It's what I've got. I've got a hacksaw around. These will probably cut through pretty good with hacksaw, but I'm just going to whack it with that thing because it'll be hopefully quick and easy. Right? Right. Okay, so you can see what happened to our angle grinder here. Shot across the room. But... It cut it pretty good. Just need a new one. Okay, so here's the cut that Glenn just made. And then he's made a mark right here where we're going to do the next cut. cut it. Ooh, it's still hot. Here are the next two cuts uh -huh. that he made. All right. And we got the one cut up here. Mm -hmm. Now we're okay. going to tap it out. And it's still hanging from a thread, just a little thread that you can't get the cutter in. So I'm going to let Angela tap that sucker out. Hold on to it. Woo! And it's hot. And what do we call that? It's shaped like a letter. Oh, a U. Well, sort of. It's the Y. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Y, now it's the U. That is the Y. Well, no, it's still a Y. There's three three ends to it, so that's a Y. So now we've got that sucker knocked right out of the uh, the frame here. So this frame is going to have to be cut a little bit back, and then that Y is going to be slid over this up to about here, and of course we're going to measure it with the engine in it and make sure that everything fits and we'll clear the exhaust pipe. But nonetheless, that's where we're at. And of course, Angela's sitting there swinging a hammer. Show me how you swing it. Wait, that's a bat. Okay, still swinging a hammer. You can swing it that way. It's like swinging an axe. <laughs> Here's the Y. In the bottom, we had a piece that was left over from the, uh, the frame center section. And we went ahead and grinded that out, so that's been removed. Now what I need to do is I need to make this Y, once again, fit over this, and I need to slide up. I need to be raised up. 
So I'm going to be doing a little bit of cutting out of here with the die grinder slightly. And this is going to be cut a little bit shorter, probably a few inches. And then once that happens, this should slide over it. And then we can start putting some welds on here and stuff when we get over to the, uh, over to the, um, yeah, the, the fucking machinist shop. Yeah, the welder. When we get over to the welder shop, yeah, he can take care of putting that part back on the frame. Good. A lot of editing there. All right, there we go. CRF 450 frame with a CR 500 motor in it. Um, it was a little bit complicated to get it mounted. Of course, we cut that Y out, and we got it mounted higher than what it was, so that way the exhaust would pass on through there. Um, I'm going to have to do just a little bit of grinding to get the clearance for the exhaust springs, but it's so minor that I don't think it's going to be a big problem for where it's at. Now, I'm going to have a little trouble mounting the radiator on the right, uh, well, it's actually the left-hand side, so we'll figure out what to do with that, but it's not clearing the exhaust pipe. So it's probably going to have to go up about an uh, inch and a half, maybe two inches. Not a big deal, but we can work on that. Um, I threw the exhaust on here real quick just to see how everything else cleared. It clears the frame where it's going to be passing on through, right through there. We'll do the welding on this next week. And it comes up on through here and clears the frame in the back too. So it's not hitting anything. There's no obstruction. It's not in the way. So this is going to work out real good. Head stay, as it comes through here, will probably come out of this hole, and then it's going to run some type of pipe or tubing across here with a really super long bolt, and then there'll be two little doodads that come up to this. Now, what I'll probably also do is I'll build a uh, some type of mount back here and continue to run it off to the head. Is that overkill to mount it from three locations? Uh, maybe so, but it's going to stop a lot of vibration, so I think we just might go with that. So, there it is. CR450 frame with a CR500 motor. This is my dirt bike project. The motor has been borrowed temporarily. Temporarily, I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this out of my street racer project because I've only got one motor, but you can only ride one bike at a time. So I borrowed the motor out of there just for the time being while I get the rest of the running gear going on this thing uh, to put into my dirt bike. So maybe I can tear up the dirt for a little while until the street racer gets finished. But one way or the other, eventually I'll have two motors. It's just, uh, with this tight economy right now, it's just not a good thing to try to dump another couple hundred bucks into a motor that, well, I'm just not going to see a lot of usage out of. It's not going to earn me any money, so we'll just be sitting on that for a little while. But there it is, same motor. And we've got to have a gratuitous Skeeter shot. So where's little Skeeter? What you doing, Skeeter? You got a pool. You gonna go in the pool, huh? You gonna go in the pool? Go ahead, go in the pool. Yeah, go in there. Good girl. Had to push you a little bit, but you went in. Go ahead, hose off. Good baby.